Welcome everyone to a Genshin Impact video. Today we have an account overview. One We're just going to be going over my entire account real quick. Uh, characters, clients. weapons, stuff like that. Check out what I got and basically where I stopped. So I did stop around AR-57. Uh, I did stop a couple months ago. I would say that the newest character that was coming out at the time when I quit would be probably Raiden the Shogun. And then um, I still logged in a couple times after that. Got Aloy, got uh, Ayaka. So, basically around Inazuma time is when I quit. So, if we look at all the characters, I, and you count Venti, who's like one hit away from 90. Uh, I have 18 level 90s here that I was able to get up before stopping. Um, some of my favorite characters in the game, Hu Tao, Yula, Dong Li, um, Liv Rosaria. There's so many good characters in this game. A blade um, I would say that duty. they're not all built up properly. Like, we can check out the stats here on the right. But the weapons, like, I'd swap weapons out to characters. Like, he probably doesn't have the right weapon on him at the moment. Um, his artifacts might be messed up. Who knows? So, going off the stats on the right is probably a bad idea, considering it might be mismatched. There's probably a couple characters that have the right stuff. Like, let's check out Zhongli, for example. Let's see what he has. Uh, Weapon-wise, uh, this is not his best weapon. Uh, he would probably be best with this one here. Um, so like, you know, stuff like that. If I swap him to that weapon, then it takes it off of Hu Tao, who's now, you know, a weaker version of Hu Tao, basically. So, don't go by the stats off to the right. As you see, I just swapped the weapons. They're not going to be accurate. Uh, but this is who I have. So, check out the stats. Some of them will be right, some won't. Friendship levels here, kind of important. Created um, definitely level up a lot of these characters. Got the friendship levels up. Uh, you can see which ones I like the most, but not even, th even that, because... As you can see, like, I leveled up a lot of the characters. Once we got the friendship level 10, I was swapping them out and putting in different characters. So, you have a lot to 9, 10, around that range. And it probably is more so uh, got to do with how long I had the character. More so than how much I actually like them. So, some of the characters I got first definitely leveled up. Um, some of these other ones taking a little bit longer. But, you can see I got a lot of friendships to 10 here. I wonder... And we're working on some of these these newer characters here towards the bottom. Uh, one character I didn't get until like the very end of my account was Diluc here. So I never even had a chance to use him. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but very cool characters, very cool game. Let's go over to the weapons. Let's go check out the inventory. So got quite a few level 90s and legendaries. We have Elegy for the End, Skyward Harp, Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds, Primordial Jade Wing Spear, Daffahoma. Song of Broken Pipes, or psh, Pipes, Pines, uh, Wolf's Gravestone, Gabbard Pride, Primordial Jade Cutter, Gabbard Blade, Aquila Favonia, and working on Skyward Atlas and another copy of Skyward Harp. Uh, definitely had some of these epics as well, Stringless, Wine and Song, Sacrificial Fragments was a really amazing one for uh, Sucrose here. We have the Wid Sith, Deathmatch, which uh, was pretty close. Man, I almost had a five star in that one. Or refinement level 5. I uh, barely missed a battle pass by just not playing. <laughs> the white blind, uh, rain slasher, sacrificial sword. We've got quite a few weapons. Definitely a great assortment here. And uh, there was nothing in the game that I basically wasn't able to do. I would say that for the most part I was able to restart all the content. Spiral Abyss every single time it came out. Got all the stars. All that good stuff. Max scoring the majority of all the content. I would say I started a little bit late so I wasn't able to max score some of the first things that came out. But um, once I got my account sorted out a little bit, uh, I was definitely able to max score everything else from that point forward up until the moment I quit. So definitely knocked out all those spiral abysses, stuff like that. Um, you know, the real end game here is definitely artifacts and leveling them up, getting the right kind with the right substats. A very difficult thing to do. But I definitely have a couple good pieces. I'm not sure exactly which ones are the best here. But uh, I was definitely able to get some pretty nice pieces. And... Um, Working with some of these new sets as well, some of the newer sets in the game, like Tenacity to Millilith on uh, Mr. Zhong Li here. So, lots and lots of artifacts. Definitely grinded up quite a few. Still have a lot of resources as well. Saved up. I mean, a lot of these characters um, don't need these. Like, I would say that for the most part, they're kind of maxed out. Now, crowns... Who did I stick some crowns on? Let's go through the talents real quick. Nines and Kazua. 
12, basically a 9, 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9. Here's a crown right here. Dominus Lapidus. Got some crowns here on the A1 for Eula. The A1, I mean the normal attack. I'm used to, used to playing Rage Shadow Legends. Got, um... Never got it on uh, her normal attack. But definitely a worthy one. Artaglia. Got one. In its fantastic voyage, amazing ability. Oh, I even did a uh, Sucrose's uh, Forbidden Creation there. As you can see, I got a lot of the talent levels up. Um, plenty of characters that are maxed out. Go to the teapot real fast. Go check that out. Haven't been here in quite a while. Let me see if I can remember how it works. There we go. That was kind of weird. I hit that button a bunch of times and didn't like do anything. All right, so uh, here's my basically landscape at the moment. Uh, built this, and then I really haven't kind of been back since. This I just use for storage as I get the um, load up. And same thing over here, just kind of dropped a bunch of stuff down just to get the load. Go inside though for a second, because I did build up the inside just a tiny bit. We got Mona on the inside over here greeting people. It's kind of built up like a restaurant. We got like a, you walk in and you're supposed to have a server here, but you can't really stick one behind the counter. So I got Mona over here to greet you. And uh, if you walk over here, you have a little seating area to wait, another little seating area to wait. Got like a little bar back here. Got her work in the bar. Kuju Sarah. Bunch of animals running around because you know, it's crazy like that. I like to have dogs and cats just running around the restaurant, begging for food. Yeah, I mean... I got a couple of these rooms built up. I have like a kitchen or something in here. This is a new room that was added after I quit playing, so I do not have that room built. Over here though, I do have these bottom floors. Done up a little bit. Got this built up like a bedroom. Lisa's hanging out in here. I don't know why Lisa's in the bedroom. Just likes to be in the bedroom, I guess. We got a little kitchen area right here. We got nobody in the kitchen though. But you know. And I think the last spot we got is a little office area. So, you know, some place to do, you know, some of the business administration for the restaurant here. For the books. So, that's my account. This is my uh, teapot. This is my characters. This is my artifacts. This is all my stuff. Probably gonna be letting someone else play it. Um, I don't want it to go to waste. That's like the big deal for me is uh, hate playing things and letting it go to waste. I tried to give it to my kids. My kids didn't want to play it. You know, I'll have to figure out someone to come play it. So, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed checking out the overview. See you guys in the next video. Peace.